Hello everyone! I have been talking about doing this video for quite some time now and you guys have been asking about it. I think I am not the only person in the world who associates books and reading with coffee or tea or just hot beverages in general. And for that reason, whenever I sit down to read, I tend to make myself something to drink meanwhile because it's so easy to read and drink at the same time. It's more difficult to eat at the same time, which is unfortunate because I do love eating, but I also do love my coffee. Because I love my coffee so much, I have quite a selection of mugs that I have collected over the years. And I love to start my coffee brewing with selecting the perfect mug for the day, the mug that represents my mood or that just makes me happy or whatever. So today's video is of course going to be a go through of all of my coffee mugs. Most of these mugs I got through Amazon, so you will maybe be able to still find them over there if you are lucky. And a few of the mugs I received from friends or family. As you can see, I have my collection behind me. I'm actually going to start with the two large mugs that I have, which look like this. And I have received quite a few comments about these mugs over the years, whether I have posted a photo of them on Instagram or whether I have filmed with them. People love these mugs, which I truly understand. These are extremely tall and I use them for my cafe lattes because I have a milk froth machine, if that's what it's called. and. I like to froth my milk, which then turns out to fill up most of the mug and then add some coffee. And these large mugs are perfect for that amount of beverage. Now, before we get to the actual coffee mug selection, I would like to show you this mug, which is more for tea. But of course, you could drink whatever you want to drink from it. But it says tea lover. I received this mug from a friend of mine a lot of years ago. And it's been in my possession for all of those years because I am one of those persons who very rarely crack my mugs. I rarely drop them and they tend to be part of my collection for years and years. I've probably dunged myself right now so that after this video I will go crack a mug. I don't know. But here we have my tea mug and I don't drink too much tea but when I do I tend to grab this mug. Next mug is what I call my park mug even though I've been told that these dogs are actually French bulldogs. But that doesn't rhyme. French Bulldog and Mug. It doesn't sound as good as Park Mug, I think. But I really like this one. It makes me cheerful and I don't know, whenever I have a sad day, I grab this mug because I know that I can't help but smile when I look into these adorable eyes. I'm currently drinking from this mug, which is why it's a little bit dirty. Next, we have one of my favorite mugs and that is this one. Not a morning person, doesn't even begin to cover it. I like how it feels in my hand. It's a really good piece of quality. I also like how when you drink your coffee, on the bottom of the mug it says wakey wakey. So by the time you have drunk your coffee, you might have actually woken up. This is just gorgeous, the colors. I'm just in love with it. And I tend to grab for this mug more often than not. If you are like me and you are a fan of Gilmore Girls, then this mug probably has to be part of your collection. It had to be part of mine. Here we have my Luke's mug, Stars Hollow Connecticut. I love this. It makes it reminds me of Luke. It reminds me of the diner in Stars Hollow and that's just cozy time. I love it. There are other Gilmore Girls mugs out there available, but I decided to go for this one and I've actually bought another one from my mother for Christmas because she loves Gilmore Girls as well. So I really hope she doesn't watch this video, which I'm pretty sure she doesn't, because if she does, she will know, well, mom, you will know that you will receive this mug as well. If it's in the night time, for some reason, I tend to grab this mug, which is so adorable. I love, love, love the owl, which looks eerie and scary, but also so endearing and furry for some reason. Feathery, maybe that's what you're supposed to say. This mug is just a plain white mug with print on it. And it's so simple, but it feels good in your hands. And as I said, I just love to drink from this whenever it's dark in the evening and I feel like a good cup of coffee, but from a scary looking mug. 
Next, we have my Good Vibes mug, which comes with pineapples. I love it. This mug is great for cheering you up. And also, it's another one of those mugs that feels good in your hands. It has the perfect amount of coffee in it. And I just love this mug, which goes for all of my mugs, obviously. But this one, just a tiny little bit more than some of the others. Now, I have received quite a few comments about this mug, which says this girl runs on coffee. And that's because people tell me that... This mug is perfect for me. I apparently run on coffee, according to some people. They might not be mistaken, I do love my coffee. Now, this one is a very elegant piece of china. I love the golden line and I also love the writing. It does say on the button, do not microwave and hand wash only, but that's not a problem for me because I don't own a microwave and I only hand wash. So this one I quite like as well. And the very last mug I have to show you is this one, which I call my creativity mug because I tend to grab for this one whenever I know that I have a full day of work ahead of me and I need to get a lot of things done. This mug encourages me to do that. It has all of the office utensils that you need. It has a cup of coffee, it has your books and your pencils and a candle and I just really like this mug for when I need to be creative and productive. I do not really like the color though. I wish that it had been black or dark blue, but this gray color is okay. It's more neutral. I will say that because of the gray color, this mug is maybe my least favorite. Am I the only person who tends to grab for mugs that encourage me to work or have a great day? I don't think I am. And those were all of my mugs. I have no more hidden. I will expand my collection over the years probably but for now this is what i have and i truly cherish these amazing mugs maybe you are now inspired to go make yourself a cup of coffee and grab a nice book and sit down to relax and read thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and until my next video happy reading